Um, I started back in Calico and Shore Cycling um, when I was about 15 and a half. Um, I had a brother who started just uh, about six months before me. And um, it was just a local club came to the schools down in, in Carrick and Shore and looking for uh, people who wanted to start about 15, 16 years of age. And that's how I started. And uh, I started with a group of classmates and, you know, it was something different. So we, we enjoyed it from the other sports. We were playing a lot of other sports at school, but cycling was a little bit different. So uh, we stuck with it, I think, a bit longer. Uh, well, there's a bit of a story, uh, you know, becoming professional. Um, I um, <clears throat> first of all I went to France, and the reason I went to France is I competed in South Africa uh, before the Olympics in Montreal, and I was suspended by the Irish Federation of going to the Olympics. So that made my up my decision to go to France, and I went over to to France as an amateur for a year, and then I got a professional contract at the end of that season. I won quite a number of races. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of the workers in the is a very difficult job because uh, you know you're in the uh, you're in the team there to help the leaders. But um, it's uh, it's it's nice to be a professional. First of all, I think you know even if you're only the mystique, it's great you get into all the big races. And if you're with a good team uh, with good riders, which I was as a mystique with Freddie Martins and the Flandria team, so it was very enjoyable. And uh, it's a learning process also, which you have to go through. And I think it's uh, it's important for for later in your career. If you can be become a better rider. Paris Nice for me, it was a race that I had exceptional luck in the race. Um, when I won my first two or three Paris Nices, I didn't really concentrate on being in top shape for them after that. And uh, a lot of the time I started the race not at my best form at all, but I was lucky getting into the right breaks and sometimes you have race like that where you have a lot of luck and you seem to get into the race into the right breaks without trying. And that was certainly a case for me in Paris and East on a number of occasions where in other races where you're you're really, you know, taking attention and you 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 miss getting into the the real breaks. So Paris Meets was really uh, a lucky race for me on a number of occasions, not every time of course. Well, <coughs> consistency, um, you know, over the uh, three weeks, um, and also to be able to climb, I think it's uh, it's important. And I was able to, you know, get over a lot of the climbs where the real sprinters were having uh, problems doing that. So it meant that I picked up points on some of the uh, the medium mountain stages, and uh, that was a big help for me to, to, you know, to win the green jersey four occasions. You know, there's so many good riders in that period in the, you know, Roach, Early, we had Paul Kimmage, we had uh, a brother of Roach, we were five professionals competing at one time. And um, it's just, uh, it's, ju it's just something, it's, it's just a bit of luck that it happened at that time. And unfortunately for cycling around, it wasn't a good thing because if our careers had been spread out more, I think it would have been much better for cycling back in Ireland. Well, my last race was it was an exceptional race because the number of people we had over uh, from the continent, first of all, we had a lot of the very big names, and also the number of people that turned out on bikes because it was it was part leisure, part race on that day. So we made it you know it was leisure for a number of uh, kilometres, and then it was a race in the end. And the number of people that turned out from all over Ireland, from Britain, and from all around Europe, just as leisure only. And of course, as I said, the ones which I competed with during my career, a lot of the big names came over. So it was. It was an exceptional day and I think a day that I will remember for a long time, um, maybe much better than some of my greatest wins in my professional career. Well, we had a lot of problems in the sprints. Uh, you know, we were, we were both the same sort of guys, very aggressive in the sprints, and we had a lot of uh, a lot of problems in the sprint on many occasions and pulling and pushing and uh, and the press also built us that you know we were real made us more rivals than we actually were maybe, and uh, you know it just it just went on from there. But now I'm good friends, and when we retired, and uh, over the last couple of years, I've seen him when he was uh, director of sport at Mappy, uh, you know I, I'm still good friends with him. But I was I was never really you know 
at, at war with him I was uh, you know when we got into the event we were always big rivals but outside of the event it wasn't uh, it wasn't a major war on any occasion Yes, I try and ride the bike uh, a lot, um, as much as possible. Uh, I feel that I, you know, I like to do it. I enjoy it a lot, and I think if you're enjoying riding your bike, well, then you've, you've got to do it. Uh, although, you know, the time I'm uh, sometimes I don't just get enough uh, time to be able to do it, and I would like to ride more. But I still do maybe three thousand, three and a half thousand miles per year. Um, so I'm still, you know, quite fit and. Uh, I think the weight also is an important thing to keep your keep your body in shape, not put too much weight because you have to you have to look good. You know, being a being a good professional bike rider, you have to show a good image. Well, I have no problem with Duffield in the commentary box. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I enjoy I enjoy working with him. Um, you know, I've been with him now for a number of years, and uh, we you know we get on very well together. Although we have people who you know. Uh, some of the viewers don't agree with his comments and also with my comments uh, but it's difficult to please everybody because you have the real cycling enthusiasts and uh, then you have the people who want to hear more about you know the country we're in and uh, the culture of that so it, we have to get a mixture but uh, you know certainly I uh, I enjoy working with Duffield and if I wasn't enjoyed I don't think I would be you know still doing it. Well, I think Armstrong will win again because uh, this year it was, you know, it was one of the tightest uh, uh, races between himself and Ulrich, and uh, uh, you know, I think he will work a bit more on it this year. Maybe he thought he wasn't going to have a, a strong as rival as Ulrich uh, turned out to be, so he will work that much harder again to win his sixth tour. And he says, you know, his sixth tour is not important, but I don't believe that. Certainly, he's going for the record.